Oh, the life of a playful penguin, making a splash and gobbling sprats. The zookeepers have their work cut out as they check all are present and correct. There are 91 penguins at London Zoo, including six chicks that hatched right here at the beach. They might look the same to you, but to a keeper, all the penguins look different. So they have uh, bands on their wings which help identify them, but all penguins have a unique set of feather marks on their chest. So every keeper can actually look at their penguin and identify them because they know exactly what each penguin looks like. So very much like we have different faces, each penguin looks very different. You just need to get to know them. Clipboards, calculators and cameras at the ready. Zookeepers tally up every mammal, bird, reptile and invertebrate each year as a requirement of London Zoo's licence. Some animals, like the critically endangered lions, are as easy to count as one, two, three, four. Others need an incentive to show their face. Squirrel monkeys are tricky to count because they're nimble and quick and even though the keepers know who's who, they don't hang around. The smallest creatures at the zoo, the leafcutter ants, are counted in colonies because it would be impossible to track each one individually. With some 500 different species, the big count takes keepers almost a week to complete and the information recorded is shared with zoos around the world. If I'm counting animals myself as a zookeeper, it's always that reminder that the numbers in the wild are diminishing um, and that's a really important responsibility that we've all got to try and stop that from happening. The total inventory to catalogue is around 19,000 animals, so the 100 or so zookeepers are well and truly outnumbered by creatures great and small. Juliet Mann, CGTN, London Zoo.